Okay, Facebook, YouTube family. I'm gonna try to do um, a quick little um, a wrap up video of um, 2020. Um, a lot of people know I turned 40 years old this year. Like everyone else, you know, 2020, pardon me if I'm sweating, but I have my heater on, heater on in my house. But um, this year was very different for everybody. Um, obviously, COVID-19 hit. This was an election year, you know, following four years of the Trump administration. So this year, it was a lot of things going on in like every, in a lot of ways. Um, so, you know, what I want to say is that I feel this year taught me what I don't need in life, you know, because I feel as an American society, sometimes we're, we're, um, you know, we're raised to place our value in what we have, where we work, what kind of car we drive, what college we graduated from, who's the such and such on the football team. And 2020 was a year that totally erased pretty much all of that because where you worked did not matter because you couldn't go to work. What kind of fancy car you were driving didn't matter because if you were honoring, honoring the court quarantine, you weren't going to um, a nightclub every, every weekend where people could see, oh my God, look at this car. This was a year where people had to really truthfully get back to basics and you had to learn how to, well, you know, it was an opportunity, I should say. It was an opportunity for people. I really am sweating, but I got the heat on. Um, it was an opportunity for people to really get back to basics, getting back to family and what matters in life. Because I feel that, you know, for, I don't even want to put a timeline on it, but I just feel like the American society in particular, we're taught to focus on the wrong things. That's my personal opinion. It's not an argument. It's not a discussion. You know, I feel like we are a very materialistic society. And 2020 um, was an opportunity just for people to realize how much that stuff really does not matter at all. Like I said, um, you know, any of the, you know, most things that we put our focus on, you know, where jobs, bank accounts, cars, the latest shoe from our favorite sports star, all of these things, they're distractions. You know, people, some people, you know, kill for these things. They, they kill for the latest pair of shoes. They'll fight over someone scratching their car up. But in 2020, we learned that you can have all of these things, but what good is it if you're not able to use it? So you just put yourself through all of that strain and working all these crazy hours, spending countless hours away from your children, so you can be seen in a car, so you can be seen with a certain kind of shoe on at a nightclub. Like seriously, when you think of it like that, it's like, whoa, we were really that um, simple. I, I can't believe how much I'm sweating, but it's because I got these spotlights on. Um, and speaking of work, because that's something I really want to say real fast. Um, when 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 you've seen how many people were working from home, whether they were people who worked at call centers, bankers, of course, teachers, um, insurance companies, even you know my job, the dispatch dispatchers, they made a way where these people could work from home, and that goes to show you once again. See, I think twenty twenty is showing us how we have kind of been lied to because we were always told that, you know, you have to get up out of your bed at six in the morning. You have to fight through rush hour traffic to show up 
for work and with so many industries when it came down to you know trying to um stop the spread of the virus they found a way for people to work at home you know in most cases you know except for like bus drivers truck drivers um you know manual labor stuff like that you have to physically leave the house but then there were so many other jobs that where you were seeing millions of people at home which meant families were together more married couples and this let's see i'm just gonna say it. um a lot of people needed to get out the house because they kind of had some things going on that they weren't supposed to so being at home Gave, I mean, having to leave home to go to work, that was a perfect cover. And not just affairs and stuff, but all kinds of other things. So 2020, to me, this was a year of um, people having to face reality and not having nothing to hide behind. You know, because for once in history, everyone somewhat was on the equal playing field, um, at least in America. Um, you know, when the quarantine was originally originally set up, and if you did it the way you were supposed to, um, you were just basically home. You weren't on the buses, you weren't on the trains, you weren't taking vacations, you weren't at a nightclub, you weren't getting in fights on playgrounds at school. I mean, everyone was pretty much in one spot, which was home. And that forced people to have to confront some things in their life that when society is constantly moving, 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 people can't really focus on the real issues and what what's really going on because they're focused on all of this, your clothes, your car, your job, but when you have to be still and you can't really do too much or nothing, people can look you in your eyes like right here. They can be like, whoa, I never knew that about him. I never seen that about her. I didn't realize this about my children. But this was a year where, and I will say, because I'm a believer, I'll say that the Almighty, you know, that God, um, this was a year of revelation. Um, it was a year where you couldn't hide behind movement. You couldn't hide behind the distraction of, of where you worked. Because so many people for a quick minute were not working. So your fancy degree did not mean anything. You owning a movie theater franchise means nothing because people were not going to movie theaters. You see what I'm saying? So this was a time where you had to be more than what you own. You had to be more than where you worked at. You had to be more than what kind of car you were driving. See, and a lot of people don't want to face this because when you have to be still and you really look at the world for what it is, you have to look at yourself for who you are. It's like, whoa. So I'm glad for 2020. I'm not glad for the virus. I don't want no one to say that, oh, he said the virus was a good thing. I did not say that. What I said is it put us, not the virus, but somewhat the, the quarantine and the um, stay-at-home orders, it showed us that how we had been lied to to a certain point as a society and some of the lies we were telling our own selves and that's the sad part was that um it's not even so much that someone on the outside was saying it some of these are things that lies that we had told our own self and this was a year where we seen none of that stuff really does not matter when you have thousands of people dying worldwide In some cases, whole families. 
And the best you can do is, I got a new car. The best you can do is I make 100000 and you make 90000 When you look at it like that, it's like petty. And not only just petty, it makes you realize that where, where were you putting your focus at? And why were you putting it where you had it at? Because this year it was like, it just does not matter. So I want people to really, and I hope I made sense to someone. I know I might seem like I was rambling, but 2020 was a year that will make you ramble. You know, this year starting out, people made a big deal. They could stand their brooms up. And then less than two, three weeks later, you're hearing it's a virus, but as long as you stay in the house, you won't get it. Then you're told that it's primarily 65 and over. Then you're told little kids are getting it. Then you're being told um, you can't go to the movie theaters. You're being told you can't go to major sporting events. Then you're seeing where some places, entire industries are shutting down and some of them may not ever come back in the way that we knew them once to be. When you have all of that going on, the world's pettiness goes out the window. And you have to really bring focus back to what really matters. And I'm not trying to preach, so I'm not gonna, this ain't no thing of me telling you come to Jesus or nothing like that, but it's me saying, if, if nothing else, look within yourself. The world outside of you, we get it, we know. We've done that up until 2019. And people could get away with it because of who they were, where they worked, how much money was in the bank. So you could get away with it. But this was the year, at least in my lifetime, of my 40 years of living, this was when we were all put level playing field. So, like I say, I'm just, I'm probably seem like I'm rambling, which I am, but um, you know, it's my YouTube channel, it's my Facebook, so I do have that right to do that. But I just wanna encourage people going forward, um, don't let this year be in vain in all of the things that you've seen this year, all of the moments that, you know, you've seen other people have and experience. These are lessons going forward because they showed us a lot of things that we do not have to have. And that can be a breakthrough for some people. And there's so much more I want to say, but some things you just have to let people come to certain conclusions on their own. And some things you have to see for yourself. But I do feel that 2020, if nothing else, this year should have taught, told you what you do not need and where to put your focus back to, which is um, yourself, your family. And since I'm a believer, I will say God. And for people who don't believe, I'm um, hey, you do have that right. That's your decision. But, um, um, you know, just put your focus where it matters. Because all the other stuff, you know, how people normally say, but we've seen it. Everything else literally can come and can go. So I'm going to leave you with that thought, people. I, I hope it means something to someone. And I hope that in 2021, things improve and little by little, the world can start to heal.